What's up guys, Rand Razor here with another tech video for you guys today. And today I bring you guys an in-depth review of the Samsung 22 inch high definition 1080p LED backlit TV. As I mentioned earlier, it is a 22 inch widescreen TV with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Uh, in terms of the resolution, it is 1920 by 1080, so you'd get true 1080p uh, high definition uh, television, assuming you have high definition uh, cable or uh, satellite. But anyways, uh, in terms of the size, it's uh, 22 inches. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger than this, but uh, I guess because the widescreen is a little bit smaller than I thought in comparison to my old uh, CRT. Uh, TV, but uh, it's great for a uh, dorm room, for example, in like my situation here. And um, uh, if you're looking for a TV for a kitchen or your bedroom, this is definitely a great size and uh, design for a TV in that uh, environment. Uh, in terms of something for your living room or your home entertainment area, uh, definitely look for something uh, bigger and, of course, maybe black. Uh, this one here is obviously is the white edition. Uh, that obviously does come in black as well. And uh, for me, I just wanted the white one because it just matches better with the uh, rest of my uh, setup here. At least I thought I did, and uh, but yeah, I thought it was a cool design. And uh, Samsung is a pretty uh, reputable brand in the uh, TV industry. Um, it's the same company that made the uh, display on my MacBook Pro here. And I thought, you know, I'm satisfied with this. Might as well stick with Samsung for the uh, TV here. But anyways, it is also my very first flat screen TV. I never actually had one before. Um, you guys know in my previous setup videos, I had that big RCA 19 inch uh, CRT TV. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but I didn't really want to hog that giant thing over here. Uh, to university, so that's why I decided to purchase this. But anyways, uh, speaking about purchasing, it did retail for $300. I managed to get it on sale for $259, so it was a fairly decent deal. And um, you know, it was a little bit pricey for a uh, TV of this size. Um, you also do pay for quality as well as a reputable brand. Um, like I mentioned, it is true high definition 1080p, and as well as uh, it also has a 3 million. No wait, yeah, three million three hundred thousand to one dynamic contrast ratio. So the colors and blacks and whites they really uh, they do really pop out on uh, this uh, display. But as you guys can see, you're not actually using it as a TV at the moment. Of course, you can use it as a TV. Um, initially thought I had cable in my bedroom, but I didn't, so I just decided to hook up my uh, MacBook uh, to this, which I'll show you guys the ports and such on the back here. So you guys can see the uh, Samsung uh, TVs, uh, they do have a plethora of uh, ports, in other words, quite a few ports. you got two HDMI ports on the top here, um, USB ports, so you can actually plug in uh, USB thumb drives that have uh, videos or pictures on it, and you can actually view them on the TV itself. I've had tried it before, but it's a little bit sluggish, so you know I don't use it as that primary thing. I have a digital audio out on the bottom here. You have a, a PC DVI, DVI audio in, a PC in for a VGA ports, which I'm using right now. On the other side here, you have a, I'm not really exactly sure what this is, but something to do with audio, obviously, and video. And uh, you do get an adapter, which I didn't bring with me to university, that um, I, I pretty much exactly looks like this. You can plug in a bunch of uh, uh, cables and uh, to that adapter to take advantage of this. Um, over here, let me just focus on this. All right, so over here you have a uh, external link, which I'm not exactly sure what, what that's for. Um, obviously, coaxial cable in and a uh, headphone jack. And of course, on the side here you got your uh, power port to uh, power the TV. Now on top here, it's got a few more vents. Um, these uh, four screw here, is, uh, screw holes here, or is uh, if you want to mount the TV on a wall. And if you do want to mount the TV on a wall, it's a very thin design. So uh, it should look very nice and flush with the wall. And of course it does come with a uh, built-in stand which is very easy to install. You just put um, two screws on the back here and pretty much good to go. And of course this thing here is just to um, help you uh, organize all your wires if you want to use it. So in terms of the uh, video quality, you guys can see I got a uh, movie playing on right now just for a short second since YouTube doesn't like uh, copyrighted material. But uh, let me just focus on this. Alright, so we're just playing a bit of Star Trek right now. You guys can see the video quality is extremely well for a TV of this size. And um, like I mentioned, it is high definition, so you're definitely paying for a good quality uh, TV. And especially with that really high contrast ratio and the uh, pixel resolution, you're getting something that you definitely enjoy watching videos on. Anyways, of course, this you can only take advantage of this if you have, say, you're playing it off your computer or, you know, or uh, HD source like HD cable or, uh, you know, satellite. So uh, if you don't have HD cable or satellite, then you won't take advantage of the... Uh, good quality display that this TV offers. But nonetheless, if you're playing movies and stuff on Blu-ray or whatever, um, you guys can see the quality is extremely well. Uh, but yeah, for me, I'm not a total expert on, uh, you know, the clarity and quality of uh, the um, screens, but um, in my eyes, from a consumer point, uh, I'm definitely uh, very satisfied with it. 
On the bottom right corner of the TV here, you also have your uh, controls. They're all touch sensitive, which is really cool, and also it gives it a little bit more uh, sleeker design. Um, and you got the power button here, uh, channel controls, volume, menu, and your source, and they're very responsive, at least most of the time. It really depends if you accidentally hit the power button, say, a few millimeters off, it might not respond, so something like that. But if you hit it dead on, it's very responsive, and the TV um, turns on. Alright, so you guys can see there, it does take a few seconds for the TV to power up. Uh, I noticed with my, in comparison to my CRT TV, that uh, it's not as instant on as um, the older style TVs, but you know, this is my very first flat screen, so it's definitely a little bit of a different experience. Anyways, this is the uh, remote that comes with the TV. Obviously, it is white to match the TV itself, and of course, the black uh, the black version will come with a black remote instead, and it comes with pretty much all the controls you generally need, your uh, channel numbers here, your source, so if you want to change it from... Um, TV to PC or any other inputs that you have onto it. Uh, you also have volume, channel course, mute, um, channel list, your navigational uh, or directional keys here to navigate through the menu. And speak about the menu, menu has definitely changed quite a bit since the CRT TV is a lot more, uh, the graphics are a lot more better and I think in my opinion easier to navigate. Um, so if you want to change the picture quality or you know a activate a few other things such as um, Samsung has this magic angle thing. Um, uh, brightness, sharpness, your general uh, controls here. You can also adjust sound. Um, have the antenna, so if you want to change from cable to air, which I don't think air is available anymore. But uh, yeah, just you know, a plethora of uh, options and stuff that you can set up and very easy to navigate through. Anyways, back to the remote here. Um, you also have uh, your record, so if you want to play a VCR or something like that, or DVD player, you have these controls built in, and a few other ones that I'm not even sure about. But yeah, that's the remote here. It takes two AAA batteries, and um, the one thing I will say about TV remotes, it's been uh, you know quite a few decades of TV innovation. They still can't d d design a sleek-looking remote that matches the TV. But anyways, as long as it works, you know, can't really complain. Overall, guys, I'm pretty satisfied with the uh, Samsung TV here. I've been using this for over two months now. And again, if you are wondering why I have the packaging on here still, um, I don't, uh, this TV is here only here temporarily. It's just, you know, a university dorm room. I will have to move out of here in a few months. So I decided to leave it on just to make sure nothing happens to it uh, when I transport it back home. And uh, but so, anyways, uh, in terms of my uh, consumer uh, standpoint out of this, uh, it's definitely a pretty awesome TV. It's a great quality. Like I mentioned, a little bit over or not overpriced, but a little bit more expensive than your average TV of this size, but you're also paying for a good quality uh, brand as well as a good quality uh, a TV. But anyways, I'm going to leave you guys with the unboxing part of the video, which I left last. You know, thought I might as well change it up, and i give you guys the review part first. And if you guys have any questions or comments about this TV, ask away. And uh, I guess I'll see you all in the next video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button on the top there, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. But anyways, today I just got this in the mail. It's called the Samsung 22-inch LED TV Series uh, 5. Um, has 1080p high-definition resolution and all these features here. Um, clear motion, very like you know. I, I haven't really looked much into TV, so I don't know a whole lot about them. But um, let's see, teal touch of color uh, design. Um, Movie connect share movie. I don't even know what that is. Uh, two HDMI ports, of course, and uh, probably hopefully it has a cable in port or coaxial cable, whatever you call it. On the other side here, that's in French. And, anyways, let's open this thing up. This is 22 inches. It's not the biggest TV around, but uh, I didn't want anything too big for my dorm room. So, let's cut this thing open and see what we get. Alright, so, I'm gonna leave that part up. Let's see. Alright, so we got a big giant piece of foam here. Alright, so the TV, um, for 22 inches I thought it would be a little bit bigger since that one up there is 19 inch, but I guess the uh, aspect ratio is a little bit different. So we're just going to take this thing out first. And uh, it's actually not that heavy. It's actually a pretty decent size I'd say for a dorm room, but anyways, that's 22 inch widescreen. And uh, we'll just put this off to the side just for now. Next we got another big piece of foam, and the last thing we're introduced with is the uh, stand for the TV, in pretty decent packaging here. You guys can see here it is white, and it's a fairly sturdy stand, it's actually pretty rigid. 
Got the rubber feet on the bottom here to keep it in place, and that's of course where we're going to uh, attach the TV. And you got this like uh, clear plastic uh, transparent design here, so nothing too spectacular about that. We got the manuals, the remote, or not the remote, the manuals. Um, looks like that's a big sticker. And oh, actually, that's a cleaning cloth, so that's pretty awesome. We actually get a big giant cleaning cloth for a TV, which uh, I did not expect to happen. And that would be the remote. Actually, you know, let's just cut the single. Anyways, here's the uh, remote here. It's in white, which is kind of nice, matches the TV. So anyways, um, yeah, here's the remote. It's a pretty simple design. Here's the batteries. It takes two AAA batteries. And I think, no, they're not rechargeable. And last thing we get is this really big, um, looks like audio connector ports for something. I know that's left, that's right, and I don't know what these ones are for though. And, oh wait, there's one more thing. We get the power cord, which, whoa, that's an interesting looking power cord there. But uh, yeah, that's the power cord here. It doesn't look too long, so you might need an extension cable if you have a plug far away. And, of course, the two screws that uh, hook up your TV to the stand. So anyways, um, that's, that's pretty much everything. So let's put the stand on the TV now.